Hi, my name is John Paul and I run the blog Pemantor.com. In this video, we will start talking about clearing and settlement in payment systems. If you're a payment professional, that's definitely a topic of interest because clearing and settlement play a crucial role in payment systems. Bilateral clearing is the simplest case of clearing. So it is good to start there. And that will be the focus of this video. The next video that I really encourage you to watch will be about multilateral clearing. So what is clearing and how can we define it? Let's consider the definition of the Bank for International Settlements, the BIS, an authority in payments. Clearing is the process of transmitting, reconciling, and in some cases, confirming transactions prior to settlement, including the netting of transactions and the establishment of final positions for settlement. There are many notions in this definition, but the most important one is the netting. The BIS defines netting as the offsetting of obligations between or among participants in the netting arrangement, thereby reducing the number and value of payments or deliveries needed to settle a set of transactions. So netting is a key part in the clearing process. And netting involves the offsetting of obligations with the purpose of reducing the number of transfers needed to settle a set of transactions. It takes at least two players or entities to establish a clearing mechanism and the required netting process. When there are exactly two players, we talk about bilateral clearing. If there are more than two players, it is called multilateral clearing. Two banks or a group of banks may decide to perform clearing among them without going through a clearing system or an interbank system. Now, let's consider an example to illustrate the definition and make things clearer for all of us. We will consider a bilateral clearing between two people that we call Diana and Peter. Diana owes 100 euro to Peter and Peter owes 25 euro to Diana. They need to use fund transfers to resolve their debts because they live far away and funds should be available to the creditor as soon as possible. There are two options to resolve the debt with credit transfers. In the first option depicted in blue, both Diana and Peter make fund transfers. Diana makes a transfer of 100 euro to Peter's account and Peter transfers 25 euro to, Di to Diana's account. So two transfers are made in total. In the second option depicted in green, Diana makes only one transfer of 75 euro to Peter's account and everyone is happy. 75 euro is the final position after the netting. 75 euro equals 100 euro minus 25 euro. The final position is made by neutralizing the reciprocal commitments between Diana and Peter. That is what is meant with the offsetting of obligations. As already mentioned, two credit transfers are needed in the first option. In the second option, only one transfer is made, and it is possible to make only one transfer because we first do the netting of amounts. Therefore, we can save one transaction. If we consider a netting process where a very high number of transactions is involved, we immediately see that clearing contributes to significantly reduce the number of transfers needed to settle a set of transactions. It is interesting to see that at the end of the day, the result is the same. Both parties are happy, but the processes to get the result are different. 
And we are not saying that the first option is bad and should never be applied. We are just saying that there are two options to get to get the same results. As we will see later, both options are applied in reality. It depends on what the parties involved want to achieve. Now, if we transpose this example to two financial institutions, the number of transactions they can exchange among each other may amount to hundreds of thousands or even to millions every day. The clearing process allows them not to make a transfer each time a transaction is sent from one bank to another. They can decide at the end of the day, for instance, to do the netting or offsetting of obligations and then the party which owns money to the order will make a single transfer. As we can see below, bank A and bank B first exchange a very high number of transactions among them. And then a netting or offsetting of obligations is performed only after that they know what's the final position and then bank A makes a single transfer of 2 million euro to bank B to settle all the transactions. This example clearly shows how efficient bilateral clearing can be. This ends this presentation about bilateral clearing. I hope everything is clear for you now. If that's the case, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to the blog to Pementor.com and subscribe to the newsletter. The next video will be about multilateral clearing. Thanks for following this video and see you soon on the channel.